Hello, my friends. God bless all of you. A very good morning. May this broadcast add to your life. And not just to your earthly life, but for all eternity. And speaking of eternity, in order for the Word of God to be comprehended and applied, and bring God's eternity to us, we need to obey it. We need to practice it. Not just to believe in it or consider it, but to put it in practice. What is difficult? Difficult is not to speak and believe the Word of God. What is difficult is to practice it. And it's better for you to know a verse of the Bible and knowing it, practice and practicing it, obeying it, than knowing the whole Bible and practice nothing. Because the Word of God is God speaking with us. It is God speaking to those who have reasoning, those who have ears to listen. Not everybody has ears to listen. Many people have ears for gossip or malice. They have ears to hear what the world says, what social media says. But not everybody has ears to hear the Word of God. And that's what Jesus said to the Father. He said, My Father, I have given them your word. I have given them your word. And the world has hated them. Meaning, when a person receives the word of God and believes in it and obeys it, he will be hated by the world. So I can speak of a living witness of this, that which is written. You see that all the fake news were produced in the monasteries of this world, the Babylonian monasteries. And everything was planned to persecute, demoralize, destroy, and finish me off. <laughs> but we are here, complete, alive, because the Word gave me life. The Word, which is the Holy Spirit, kept me, protected me, and He does the same thing with all those who depend on this word because it is the bread that came from heaven to feed our soul. Jesus is the word and he gave the word and he was the word which formed flesh. So what Jesus had, he gave to his disciples who believed in him. So he said, I have given them your word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world. Those who hear and practice the word of God have nothing to do with the world. There is no condemnation. There is no sink between the two. There is nothing that can connect a person who lives by the word of God and the world. Those who are of God have nothing to do with the world. Those who are of the world have nothing to do with God. That's why Jesus said in his prayer, 
I do not pray for the world, but I pray for those whom you gave me, for those whom you gave me, and those who started to believe in you through your word. So Jesus said, I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from evil. Once more, Jesus praying to those who refuge in his word, those who believe in him. He prays for his followers. He prayed for you, for I. He prayed for all of us. Father, I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. Then once again he says, They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Jesus makes it clear. He emphasizes. He repeats this. That we do not forget his good words. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. To sanctify means to separate. When a person is separated of the world, he is sanctified. When a person wants to live in faith and at the world at the same time, he is not of God. Because those who are of God died to the world. They were buried in the waters. So Jesus prays to the Father on behalf of the disciples. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. Which means sanctify them according to your word. So, my dear friend, see how important it is for you to absorb the word of God and put it in practice in your conduct, your daily conduct, your personal conduct. Today is the first day of the fast of Daniel. So from today, we are in one spirit, in one faith, in one heart, connected with God through His Word, meditating on His Word, so that the Holy Spirit may come and be poured out as the latter rain, as the latter rain, preparing the disciples, the followers, for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. So he says, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself, that they may also be sanctified by your truth. Meaning, by them I am sanctified. I separate myself. And I ask you to sanctify them as well, meaning separate them as well. For them to be different from this world. So you, my friend, when you read these words, this prayer of the Lord Jesus, Jesus is not speaking here with anyone. He's speaking to the Father. He's praying to the Father. And only John, only John could register these words. Because he heard them and registered them. He registered this prayer. And Jesus obviously permitted this. That we may understand the care the attention, the protection that He, Jesus, 
has towards those who are attached to him. So, my friend, God has delivered us in many moments and protected us. Jesus has protected us. He's there with you. He's here with me. And I cannot see him, nor feel or touch him. But I have an assurance that he is listening to me. He's watching me, watching you. He sees our efforts in sharing to his disciples, his followers, that which he did, the prayer which he said to the Father. And this gives to us tranquility, peace. Jesus prayed for me. If no one prayed for you, my friend, you can be sure Jesus already prayed for, prayed for you. That's if you're his. If you're not his, then you're out of this prayer. Unfortunately, but the fast of Daniel is here. Detaching from the things of the world, secular information, detaching from the matter of this world, that we may live each day in spirit. The Apostle Paul said there, in fact, God himself said, without sanctification one will see the Lord. But there's a word where he says that we, Paul says, we need to sanctify ourselves. He says, I pray for you, brethren, for the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a holy and living sacrifice, pleasing to God, which is your daily service, not an emotional service, not a service of the heart, but a reasonable service. This is the intelligent faith which we're trying to share to you. Tomorrow we'll be, re we'll be back here and we'll continue in the fast of Daniel. God bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.